Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be a new Will I Buy It. I post my Will I Buy It series every single Wednesday, chatting over new makeup releases, my thoughts on them, if I'm planning to pick them up or pass over them. I will have my playlist linked down below, and I will also link the community playlist, which I started so any creator that makes the style of new releases video can add theirs to the playlist so you can binge watch and see a bunch of thoughts on these new releases. But I do have a lot to chat about this week, so why don't we go ahead and get started. All right, I'm gonna shuffle a little closer to Perry here, and then let's just jump right into it so of course we have some new color pop to talk about why not so they are coming out with some new products these are the blush and highlight sticks so reading from the determined one instagram i do always have a link to my description box these are supposed to be a super lightweight there's 18 blush sticks and eight highlighter sticks these are going to be eight dollars each they're supposed to be hydrating have a luminous and natural look on the skin formulated with vitamin e there's also five blush slash highlighter bundles these are already available now so i will have them linked down below i do have my color pop code it is five samantha for five dollars off your orders of 20 or more it can't be used on new items but if you're planning to pick up up these and maybe some older items if those older items equal the $20 you could still use the $5 code I believe it's how that works uh, so but for these new items I'm not really interested in these myself I'm not a big cream makeup gal I'm, I'm kind of slowly working my way back into it I used to be really into it maybe like two years ago I used a lot of cream products then I kind of phased out of that and now it's kind of like slowly coming back around on me but not too too much yet I think that these are these would be nice at the eight dollar mark if you are wanting to get into cream products but you're kind of wanting to learn first because it can be a, a little tricky it really can so if you're wanting to learn on them it would be nice to purchase something more affordable versus something more high-end uh and you know realize that maybe you don't like cream or you just need to play around with it a little bit more could be a good option so um, I think that I have enough, especially highlighters. I'm really not a cream blush girl or a liquid blush girl. Like I can do cream bronzers, contours, and highlights, but for whatever reason, blush, I'm just not a big fan of at all. I don't really see myself using those. The highlighters do look pretty, but again, I just, I don't think I'm personally going to get enough use out of these. I, I love the price on them. I think that that's great and everything. The packaging is very cute, very eye-catching, you know, very cool for summer, but I did just also place a ColourPop order. Last Friday's video was a ColourPop haul uh, and also three looks with the new Main Squeeze palette, and it was crazy because by the time I got that video up, which I got my package the day before that video went up and immediately filmed with it and even before that video went up another new palette had released the blue moon palette it's like oh my goodness color pop like goodness uh, but this is a release that i'm going to pass over I did get quite a few tags that Pixie Beauty is doing another Pixie Pretties collaboration. They've done this in the past. They are doing it once again, and they're collaborating with quite a few um, different influencers here. So we have Miriam NYC, who I know that she did a collab um, one of the last times. Uh, from Head to Toe is collaborating. Rachel Loves is collaborating, and also That's Heart, which I can't remember if she has in the past. But... Um, so there's a bunch of new products out here from Pixie. So we have the That Heart, That's Heart has an eyeshadow palette. Rachel Loves has a highlighter palette. Uh, I believe these are going to be available June 11th is what I read. Yeah, June 11th online. They'll also be available in Target at the end of June. Uh, and then Miriam NYC has two different sets that are $18. They include liquid fairy lights and also a matte last liquid lip. And then from head to toe has glow powders and an endless shade stick. So that's kind of the idea. Um, what's all included with these collaborations. I don't know if I'm going to pick up anything from this. I don't regularly follow anyone in this um, particular collaboration. I used to watch Rach Loves on a really consistent basis and I don't know what made me kind of stop. No, like no reason or no anger or no anything like that. Um, I don't know. I just kind of like slowly kind of stopped watching her videos, but I did. I really, really enjoyed her videos. She has great enthusiasm. Um, so I'm really excited to see, you know, of course, I just, I always get really excited when I see people being able to collaborate. And I know the last Pixie Pretties collection, I felt like was really well done. There was a lot of products in there that I quite enjoyed. The highlights I thought were really good. I will say though that Pixie makeup generally doesn't get me as excited as their skincare. For whatever reason, when it comes to Pixie, I am just all about their skincare and that's typically where I tend to make my purchases and my repurchases versus their makeup. I still think that their makeup is good but Pixie is kind of that um, 
like a lot of people consider them a drugstore brand but their their prices are a little bit more like mid-level like they're not high-end but they're not drugstore affordable all of the time and i just feel like with that brand i would prefer to put my money in their skincare versus their makeup if that makes sense so that's kind of a little bit of my thoughts on that but i'd love to know what you guys are thinking um who do you follow out of this bunch that you're so excited to see for the collaboration i would love to know if you are grabbing anything also got some tags that Kaja beauty is coming out with new eyeshadow trios so they already have some out but they're adding some new ones and these are going to have a new matte formula finish so these are their bouncy shimmer eyeshadow trios it says a stacked creamy bouncy eyeshadow in bite sizes perfect for on the go stacks of matte and shimmer eyeshadows that apply effort effortlessly it's 21 dollars for each trio i believe that these are available now and they'll be available june 7th in stores and kasha is also available at sephora so i haven't tried these yet i actually haven't tried anything from kasha yet but i really really want to and these i think have me the most curious and it was funny with the last time i shopped in store at sephora um some of these were put on display so you could you know like swatch them and stuff and i went over to them and i i, I looked at them because i was like oh i'll swatch a few and see what i think almost every single shade and every single trio that had been out was completely done for like all the way swatched through i couldn't even swatch them so i was like Ha! Huh. And I feel like I've heard a lot of other YouTubers talking about these and using them and just really enjoying them. So I kind of want to pick one up just to see what I think. You know, it's $21 for one product, but you get the three shades inside, so I don't think that's too bad. And these just look really curious to me. So I'd love to hear your feedback. Have you tried them yet? What do you think about them? Um, but it looks like we have some new colors, some new formulas in there, and... I have to say that I have my eyes on these and they look like they would just be great for like I do so like we're gone so much in the summer it seems like we're always doing something every weekend really nice to be able to just throw these in a makeup bag and go like I'm kind of eyeing these okay, so it cosmetics is coming out with a new product this is the your skin but better makeup primer it's an oil free makeup gripping primer those are very popular right now that hydrates your skin and extends the wear of your makeup this is going to be a $39 and I believe it's available now at Sephora. I'm kind of curious about this because just when I was first reading this caption, my mind kind of immediately went to the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer because it's supposed to be a gripping primer, but really good for hydration. So it sounds really sim similar. So my first thought is like, oh, I wonder how similar they, these would be. And, you know, would I be able to kind of compare them to one another? Uh, primers seem to be pretty popular right now as well. A lot of people are coming out with the primers. Like I said, the gripping primers are very popular. Um, I have to say, I kind of have my eye on It Cosmetics, but for two very different reasons. One, I heard that they discontinued or they just all of a sudden yanked the confidence in a foundation. And I'm very curious about that. I haven't really been able to see anything as to why or what's going on there i actually tried it out fairly recently in a trying new makeup video on my channel here or i actually think it was my sephora haul but i had received that from one of the, um, my youtuber friends had gotten a, a pr package and she sent me one of her extra ones that she wasn't using in a shade so i was trying it out and i was going to review it soon but now i guess you can't even find it does any I haven't heard, I don't know what's going on there. So that was kind of odd. But another reason that cosmetics kind of has my attention right now is I just recently listened to a podcast and it was from Rachel Hollis, the Rise, Pos Rise podcast, and it had the CEO of It Cosmetics on there, was Jamie Kern Lima, and it was a, just really interesting. I've, I've been really into podcasts. Um, you know, the warmer weather, I walk my dog a ton. We're always out there, and I like to be able to listen to podcasts or audiobooks, and right now, I just feel like I'm finding a lot of really good podcasts, and the Rise podcast is one of them. If you're not familiar with Rachel Hollis, she wrote the book, um, Girl, Wash Your Face, Girl, Stop Apologizing, and those have been really popular books but she also has this podcast and I've been listening to quite a few there's some really interesting people that she has on there some really interesting topics motivational inspiring which is something that I really do enjoy but when she had Jamie on it was such an interesting podcast just not only hearing about it cosmetics which obviously because of what i do i was super interested in that and hearing how the brand came about and kind of hearing how they got their big break um actually through qvc and kind of what went on and all of the no's that she got from sephora and other brands and um so that was that was really intriguing to me it cosmetics has never been a brand that's really caught my attention like i've tried a few things here and there but just 
I don't, for whatever reason, they just don't get me excited all of the time. But I have to say, after listening to this podcast, I was really quite intrigued. Um, I did some more research into the brand. I looked at some of their, their products a little bit more closely. Um, and I will see, I can try to link it. I'm not really sure how to link podcasts these days because I'm kind of newer into them. But um, if you like podcasts and that sounds like something interesting to you, I'd really recommend it. And it was also very interesting for, um, as, as a woman listening to it, there was a, a particular part where um, they were they were talking about women, kind of how we view our bodies, that actually had me full on crying as I was walking my dog because I could relate to so much of what was going on and you know how hard we can be on ourselves and all of that. It was just so interesting and so moving. So definitely recommend the podcast. I just thought I would sneak that in there. I, pushed, I posted about it on Twitter and on Instagram and just anywhere I could because I was just so moved by it. But um, I just thought it was very interesting. So, and I have to say that it kind of got me looking at It Cosmetics a little bit more too. So I'm kind of interested in the primer. It is $39, so that is very expensive. And like I said, a lot of new primers have come out. I've bought some. I have received some in PR. I have a lot of primers going on. So I'm kind of like trying to decide if it's a good decision or not I don't know but I'm intrigued I didn't mind that little story but it was just something that I really did want to recommend and I'll definitely be thinking on this primer but let me know your thoughts on it okay, so next up we have an eyeshadow palette from Melt Cosmetics I know that there was some issues with this one I think the um, the photo was leaked too early which always makes me sad that really does bum me out I, I, I we've seen it happen with so many brands and um, it just really it just makes me sad I don't really understand why people have to do that but I know I'm looking at the Melt Cosmetics Instagram and they have it up and everything so I'm gonna go ahead and chat about it and um, put in the photo that I can get from their Instagram but it says we create a palette inspired by us this 18 shade palette features two sides that tell the story of Melt Cosmetics and the customers who made this dream a reality I really like the idea behind that I think that's that that's fun and I, I like the concept the the idea of creating this palette I don't know if I'm super into it myself kind of like this it's a, kind, almost kind of like a book style which you know I'm an author I, I appreciate that others don't necessarily really call to me um, and also the palette is going to be $65 it's gonna be available June 6th online at Sephora and Melt Cosmetics that's a pretty pricey one of the one of the biggest reasons why I haven't purchased from Melt Cosmetics is, is they're just a little bit more of a higher price I do like that they're not Sephora I think that's awesome but um, the palette just didn't, it, the colors inside of it didn't really give me a double take. I like the packaging. Again, I like the concept behind it, but the actual shades inside, I was just kind of like, eh, and, you know, like I feel like I kind of have that as of right now. And especially for the $65, I think I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go ahead and pass over this one from Melt. So we also have a new eyeshadow palette from NYX Cosmetics in collaboration with Age of Aquaria. Um which let's see looking at Instagram is a fashion model Ooh, there's some really cool photos on here okay um so it says makeup to Aquaria is all about self-expression this palette is inspired by the late night city lights these colors are Aquarius go-to's when doing her own makeup from a simple beat to a glamorous drag so the Aquaria palette is going to be $25 there's 10 shades in matte metallic shimmery finishes and one topper which is sheer glitter so um, very, very cool, very fun collaboration. I don't think the shades inside really speak to me though. I I like the looks of it. I like the outer packaging. And I think there's a few shades, like um, individual shades in here that I'm like, oh, okay, those are kind of neat, but kind of putting them all together. I just don't think I would see myself reaching for this one quite a bit. And NYX eyeshadows don't generally get me very excited. I actually just mentioned one of their eyeshadow palettes in my like 20 worst um, products from 20 brands in 20 minutes or so there um, so I yeah their eyeshadows usually don't get me very excited so I'm gonna go ahead and pass over that one as well from NYX but I'd love to know if you are planning to grab that collaboration I have some more new releases from Juvia's Place so they are also coming out in their I am magic complexion line this is the loose setting powder there's gonna be five different shades and these are $12 each uh, what I see right now is coming soon but also coming to Ulta Beauty I have been getting more into loose setting powders recently but I also have quite a few I'm still trying to decide if I wanted to grab the Juvia's Place foundation I've been watching reviews and quite a few people are just saying like how full coverage it is which isn't really my thing and especially right now as I'm personally in Iowa and getting ready for summer and warm weather that's when I like tone down my coverage and I wear like I've been I've been wearing a tinted moisturizer I'm filming this on Monday I wore a tinted moisturizer the entire weekend that's all I wore um, and a little bit of concealer so I'm still like trying to decide there um, but I, I think that these look really cool. I, I like the packaging on these. I like the idea of the setting powder. I don't think the price is bad either, but I don't think I need it right now. So 
probably gonna pass on those from Juvia's Place. Also, some more new eyeshadow palettes from Violet Boss. So we have the Best Life eyeshadow palette. This is gonna be $49. It says 14 shades with different finishes and seven big pans of finely milled pressed glitters. We also have the Rainbow Fun Sized Mini Palette, which is 18, that has 10 shades. Uh, I can't say either of these are really calling out to me. Um, I just don't think that I would use a lot of the shades in either of these palettes a lot. They look pretty and I'm, I'm sure there's people that are really going to quite enjoy them but for me I'm just kind of like no and eyeshadow palettes I've been really struggling to get into as of lately. I haven't even really been reaching for them like just when I'm getting ready to do my makeup I've been going for like glitters a lot more um, or even just like my eyeshadow bases the ones from Sigma I have one on today I've just been reaching for those so much more with a glitter too so I don't know I'm just kind of feeling some fatigue right there at this moment but can't say that those got me super hyped from Violet Boss so this next one I was just like kind of confused about I'm not gonna lie to you guys so we have some new additions to the Hello Happy Family and this is from Benefit Cosmetics so they have the Hello Happy Velvet Powder Foundation coming out in 12 shades. It says dual coverage of velvet powder foundation, lightweight and breathable, mattifies all day for 12 hour wear. So I, they came out with their Hello Happy Foundation not too long ago. Um, so I guess now that they're coming out with this powder, it says will be available June 25th online. I just, I don't know what to think of this. Looking at the promo photos, it's kind of hard to get excited for it. 12 shades definitely is not a lot of shades and the range just kind of seems to be a little bit odd and I don't know if it's just, I don't know what it is. The lighting in these photos, I'm not really sure, but it just doesn't really look great. It doesn't look like something I would want to put on my skin. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. So I, I don't know, I don't really know what else to say more than that. I haven't been a big, big fan of a lot of benefits, more like complexion products. I love their brow products, really do enjoy those, but there's been a lot of other misses from benefits. So I mostly just stick with them for my brow products, but I don't know, this just kind of looked a little bit odd to me. No, not really so sure about that. So um, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and pass over that. I'm not a big powder foundation girl anyways. Um, if I'm going for powders, it's more of like a setting powder or a finishing powder, but I don't know. That kind of looked a little bit odd if you ask me. Uh, I did get quite a few tags that Chris and Dominique is coming out with a new eyeshadow palette. So Chris and Dominique is a YouTuber and she has Dominique Cosmetics, which is also available at Sephora. So she is coming out for summer 2019. This is the Rustic Glam collection. So it's going to be a collection, but so far we have some photos of the eyeshadow palette and possibly there's a brush set coming. But um, this eyeshadow palette, I'm definitely going to be curious to see the palette as a whole versus more of like some of these screenshot photos because there's some really cool blues in there. But then I see like orange and bronze, like it's kind of a blue palette, but not the inside is not fully blue, which I'm kind of more down with because I'm not a big blue eyeshadow palette girl. So I like that there's options in there, but then there's other colors in there too. Again, I kind of want to see some close-ups of it and swatches of it and all of that, but uh, I'm actually pretty curious about this one and I really do like her eyeshadow palettes. I have two of them, um, the berries and cream and then the latte palette. I really like them. I really like the formulas in them. I've recommended them quite a bit and yeah, so I'm curious about this one. I'll wait to see some more information and the price and all of that, but I have to say even with my eyeshadow palette, eyeshadow palette fatigue that one still caught my attention so morphe has some new releases coming out so morphe is celebrating pride month with a new collection it's called pride pride live in color okay to celebrate all the bold brave lgbtq babes and allies who inspire all of us and let our true colors shine it includes the 25l live in color artistry palette for 20 dollars and the live in color seven piece eyebrow set this is 28 dollars says 100% of the net proceeds from this collection will be donated to the Trevor Project during the Pride celebration to help fund 24-7 suicide prevention and crisis intervention services, which I think is fantastic. So definitely wanted to mention that. Will be available June 5th online at Morphe. You cannot use any codes on this one, um, but wanted to let you guys know about that. So the palette is a very rainbow palette. Um, you know, we're definitely seeing a lot of that right now during Pride Month, which is the month of June. Uh, I'm not a big rainbow 
palette girl myself but I know a lot of people quite enjoy them um, and if you like kind of these bigger palettes again this one has 25 different shades looks like it has a mirror and then you also have that brush set in there um, and then they are also coming out with another eyeshadow palette this is an Ulta Beauty exclusive this one is the 35H Hot Spot Artistry eyeshadow palette 35 shades matte and shimmers this one is going to be $24 again I'm not super interested in this one I don't go for these really big palettes a lot anymore I think it's interesting how this one kind of looks like I don't know <laughs> I don't know about this one because like one side is like the reds and the oranges and the really warm tones the other side we have the blues and the greens and kind of more of the cool tones and I just I don't know I feel like it could be two separate palettes I could it could be smaller palettes I feel like this has already been done before I feel I don't, I'm just not really into it so I'm gonna pass over this one but I know a lot of people still really enjoy these big palettes and that's cool um, makeup is all personal preference but for me can't say that I am quite excited about it and then to end it we just have some drugstore products to chat about so this one I thought was really interesting. ELF Cosmetics is coming out with these new highlighter palettes. These are Glow Gleam Beam. It says has three different highlighter finishes from soft glow to beaming. There's six shades in each palette. It's $10 each and there's a light and a dark palette. I have to say when I first got tagged on this, my mind immediately jumped to Dior. I was like, wait, what? Like, the, like it kind of reminded me of the Dior Backstage Face palettes, right? I, that's where my mind went. I think that these look really pretty. I, I'm not going to lie. I kind of had to give them a double take and $10 isn't bad. I've been trying not to buy these face palettes as much and especially because this has six highlight shades. Like that's awesome. Great. $10 for six shades. That's so great, but I'm like, do you really need six new highlight shades? But then it's like, it's only $10. I'm kind of on the fence about this one. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm kind of considering it because it looks so pretty. And I never, I kind of, I considered the Dior so many times, multiple of the backstage palettes, the contour palette, the face palette. I kept considering them and I didn't go for it because of the prices and because I wasn't trying to buy, I was trying not to buy face palettes, but this one kind of intrigued me. Let me know what you guys are thinking or if you thought that it looked like a different brand because it definitely did not scream elf cosmetics to me uh and then we have another highlighter palette from the drugstore to end with this is from milani cosmetics they have a new highlighter palette in celestial coming out will be available june 4th online this one looks really pretty so you have three different shades in there but i feel like it's maybe more geared towards darker skin tones which is fantastic the shades look beautiful these pinks and golds um and kind of like a rose gold maybe but i don't think um just looking at the first kind of swatches the sneak peek in there i don't know if it would look great on me personally but it looks like a really beautiful palette um and these might be really pretty on the eyes too maybe but uh, i think that i'll go ahead and pass over that one too i think the elf one calls to me just a little bit more but other than that that's gonna wrap it up for this week's will i buy it video let me know what you thought about all the products that i mentioned what has your attention what are you planning to get i would love to know and as always if you guys enjoyed this video i hope that you'll give it a thumbs up i hope that you also consider subscribing before you go and i will catch you guys in tomorrow's video